How you played Alabama? That was the one team that really got y'all yep. pretty quick. I mean, from John. What's the toughness about that matchup? And how well, competitive they are? That was the only. This was like a five-point game with about four minutes to go in the first half, and they ended on like a 12-0 run, 16. Just totally out tough. This is the only game we hadn't been competitive in the second half. I mean, just hadn't been competitive. And they, 20 offensive rebounds, points off turnovers. They, they, they hit us hard, made us like it. We couldn't do anything about it. We just watched the tape. So we, we understand we're up against tomorrow night. You've been pretty bullish about this being one of the more talented teams in the league. I mean, uh, with getting them first round, that's a tough draw. So how do you combat that master physicalness, you know, kind of yeah, turning against them? I mean, because, you know, I mean, they're inside guys, they're great. Like, they got big guards. They're just big. I mean, they're, like Ingram is big. You know, Carol Lewis is a smaller guy, but very athletic. Petty's big. You know, Mac, they're all big physical guards. So, you know, it's just something that we just got to play better. Mm -hmm. Alabama had a lot to do with it. We didn't play great at all. But the uh, biggest thing is just the physicality, 20 offensive rebounds. I mean, that's just something we got to change in one night. You guys have rebounded a lot better yeah. the last few weeks. Um, has that been because of an emphasis or because maybe some guys just finally started to understand what you were asking for? Or what do you attribute to? Bruce Stevens helps us. Just when he rebounds the ball better. You know, you know, we're trying to get Blake Henson to rebound the ball better. He's done it a little bit better. Uh, TD has been an inconsistent rebounder over the last two weeks. Uh, he can show he can get 12 rebounds against Kentucky. And whenever he rebounds the ball, he plays great and our team plays great. So, yeah, I mean, our guards got to go back, like bringing Tyree. For his athletic ability, he's got to put his nose right in the middle of him. He's going to get four or five rebounds one night. You bring up TD. I don't know if he played 10 minutes last time against Alabama. Yeah. What do you have to do to kind of control him against their physicality? Well, he, you know, he played so immature. He, uh, he reached and grabbed, got a technical, fouled out with 16 minutes to go in the game. You know, so I just left him in there. I said, I'm just going to leave you out there. And then he fouled out, and he did. He made another reach, and he fouled him out with 16 minutes to go. And he was just, he's had such a great senior year, but that night, he just didn't, he wasn't a very mature player. He needs to be a lot more mature and play well tomorrow night. You mentioned going into Missouri that you straight up told the team this is a play and you're going to go to the tournament. To get that pressure off, do you sense these guys are practicing looser, coming into this a little bit more loose maybe than that do or die feeling going into Missouri? You know, I, I still think we've been, we've had some good toughness, you know, and, uh, but, but I did, we treated it just like that. We told them it was a, it was a play in game and we felt that way, but you know, obviously you never really ever a thousand percent know. So we understand how big the Alabama game is for Alabama and for us. Thanks, Carmen. All right, appreciate it. Thanks for being here.